Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers with um, a special guest today. Well, it's not a guest actually, it feels like a guest because it doesn't happen very often, but with a special support, which of course is Sophie. Um, she's um, in my ear basically. So um, Emma is on holiday this week and um, Sophie's standing in and it's probably good you can hear me and not her because she's got her little one with her so there's um I've already had lots of background um chat going on lovely really um but I probably wouldn't get in a word in sideways so um really lovely to have Sophie here hi Sophie and of course hello everybody else you're here to make a, a clamshell which um looks a little bit like that to see it better I've added a bit of um flesh pink into the grooves it's it's quite stru structural um, I'm only doing one half here today but you can make the second half and then um, I've actually sewn them together um, with a little bit of um, thread and um, it's a deceptively um, long needle felting project lots of stabbing so it will take up the whole hour just to make one but it's definitely worth it I don't know if you can see the sparkle inside there can you just about see it that is the Angelina fiber that goes inside it's only got three ingredients um, which are pipe cleaners white wool and uh, a little bit of Angelina fiber tiny amounts of Angelina fiber and um, so a really easy project but of course you can make different colors you can mix the colors I've made one that you can't really see it but that has got our um, rainbow drops um, in there let's have, have a little look so it's got little speckles on there that worked quite well actually um, you might try our seashell shimmer sorry Sophie I'm giving you all these extra extra ingredients now that we hadn't really spoken about so Sophie will be frantically typing away um, but I'm going to say hello first of all to um, who's in the house today remember to give us the thumbs up um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet to get notifications when our uh, live streams are coming through we do them every week on Tuesday at 1 p.m on YouTube to be repeated on Thursday at 7 p.m and maybe before I say hello I will just let you know what the today's price is which is um, you can make you can win yourself one of our bear hug kits makes two teddy bears with a heart between them and all we want you to do is tell us, what about your what what about is your hidden treasure so we want to know what about you is your hidden treasure sorry I'm, i've missed the word there so what is it about you that is your hidden treasures that we don't maybe know about it or that you're very good at hiding and um, treasure means something positive so um tell us what is what is it about you that is your hidden treasure uh, pop it into the comments as as always and then um, we will draw a winner a random winner well in fact Sophie will do it so um, hopefully you'll be the lucky winner and we will also do this on Thursday evening at 7 p.m and we're restreaming the live stream over on Facebook obviously that I don't know I can't announce that winner at the time but Hannah which happens to be Sophie's sister will be watching and um, announcing the winner on um, Thursday evening live on Facebook our page and we are the makers squiggly bit the makers two s's dot co dot uk that's our Facebook handle if you if you don't know that yet right let's say hello to some of the lovely people who are here we have got Sandra hello Sandra awkward prawn hi Gina hi Eva Rachel is there and Daniel hello both uh, we have got Carol there hello Carol it's flipping hot here in Ireland 35 degrees plus not just in Ireland, let me tell you. This is flipping hot in Gloucestershire as well. Um, we have an amber warning for heat here. It's bizarre. We have the same, actually, um, which I guess you're talking about the same place, Awkward Prawn, the UK. Diana is here. Hello, friends. All ready to go beachcombing. What's it like up there, far up in the north in Scotland, Diana? Tell us. Vampire um, Venom says hi. All Jane is there. Um, and Jane will particularly be pleased that um, Emma and uh, that Sophie is here today. Catherine, good afternoon. All hope you're not melting in the heat and staying safe still. Um, lovely place, Abel. Oh, I can't even say this. Anyway, there's somewhere in Wales. Um, I'm not even going to go there now. Erica is there from the Netherlands. Erica, how are things with you? I was absolutely terrified to read all these terrible news that were happening 
um, over mainland Europe, mainland Europe, of course, Germany, um, the Netherlands and Belgium. So um, tell us that everything's okay where you are. Um, Meg is there. Bridget, all the way from Australia. Um, golden raining, stormy here tonight. Hi, fluffy friends. So very different weather in Australia. Um, good afternoon, everyone, says Heather. Um, Pamela from Oregon. Yes, good morning to you, Pamela. Very early good morning, no doubt. Um, Mummy Gomito. Oh, that's a new one. Welcome. Um, Lorna is there. Hello, Lorna. Oh, oh, Van der Fair is there. This will be just the thing when I'm going to make a coconut octopus. Um, they hide in clams. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. That's a really good one then. Um, Rose is there. Hi, Rose. You seem to be a new one. Nice to meet you. I, I'm always really happy when there's new people. Dawn. Hello, Dawn. Marian is here. Ashley. Um, and that's it. Hot in East, Eng in East Anglia says um, um, Mummy Gomito. Um, and... Lorna says Leicestershire hot. I'm melting. Well, I'm in the coolest room of um, the whole of the building, so that's quite good. Um, I, I'm I'm not I'm not too hot, um, so that's even better. Right, let's um, make a start on this clamshell. So you basically need um, three pipe cleaners, and we sell them in our smaller packs, which come as twenty five in a pack, or you can get a um, hundred, um, a pack of hundred. These are our extra strong pipe cleaners. Now I will just say that we have had a slight. Um, sorry, I'm reaching up here. <laughs> Got all these secret stashes above above me. We have had. Um, we've had to. These are made in the UK, which is why we're buying them because we're trying to keep carbon footprints low. Of course, they. They have. They are extra strong in that they um they have sort of they don't flop easily. So they're quite when you when you bend them they stay bent and um it's, they have a bite to it. That's what I call it a bite to it. They don't bite you but they have a bite to it. Um, we've had some of a, there was a batch when you wriggled it and jiggled it about sort of three or five times it would um they would break. Now that is not really meant to happen but that hasn't hasn't affected their strength so they were still quite strong but we've been totally reassured that this is now a thing of the past and they're also really good for wriggling and jiggling again so um yeah just bear with us on on the pipe cleaners they are definitely still the best and um, i'm using three of them i'm just going to go overhead but i will just move my earth mat away because it's much better you can see the um the pinkish well, very pink background. Oh, no, my camera is all askew. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, keep knocking this. Oh, and there's a mermaid lying down. Look at that. What's she doing here? Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I um should have checked that first. I must have knocked it with my with my head. We don't need a pencil today, so that's going away. And the mermaid, she's just had a little nap. She's also rather hot. So um, she, of course, would look lovely with, with a clamshell next to her. And um, she's coming up as a live stream. I will tell you about this later. I um, forgot she was lying down there. So you need um, one pipe cleaner and you're going to make a loop first. Now the ends of the pipe cleaner, about one and a half centimeters, you're going to run side by side and then you're going to twist them into each other so that they um, it closes the loop. So we're just making a loop here, closing these uh, pipe cleaners together. Now put put the join that you've made at the bottom and now you're sort of making um, a, a slightly squashed squashed loop so you want to already get this into um, a sort of a clam shape so you've got the this bit down here which is the the end of the pipe cleaner you want that to be a straight bit about how big wide is that about three to four centimeters and then it looks a little bit like a like a toadstool or a mushroom head like that so the the join is down here where um where where that straight bit is then you're starting with pipe, pipe cleaner number one you're going to put six spines on here and um which means that each pipe cleaner length makes three so you need two pipe cleaners to make these um spines this if you're making one clamshell by the time you make the second one and then the third one and then the fourth one you have perfected them so the first one might just be your practice so secure the pipe cleaner onto the base of that clamshell 
Remember, you can always bend it back into shape again. And then you're going slightly across um, to the top of the of the pipe cleaner top here. And you're going round and feeding that through. Now, this is Sophie's project and I'm feeling a little bit nervous to get this right, but I'm sure I will. And then you're going along the top because you don't want to go, you need to make a um, sort of go along. So you might have to go around it twice. And then you're going down again, like that. I've got a sneeze in my nose, might have to come out. And then um, go around this again one more time. And then you're finishing off, um, not quite in the center because you want a gap in the center, but very near the center. And then you get rid of the end of that pipe cleaner by just twisting it around the top as well. So now I've, I've got half of my um, spokes that sit across the clam there. And now you're going to take the second pipe cleaner and you're basically repeating what you did earlier. I'm starting here um, in the center. You can start by the side. So secure the pipe cleaner first at the base by twisting it. Then you go up. So now the center should be where the gap is. And also here you need to go um, around the top a couple of times along the top of the pipe cleaner of the clam. Go down and then we've got one more to do. And that obviously is sitting right here. So you should have a mirror image, but it won't be as precise as that. Well, at least it isn't with me. Might be with you, you might be a, an expert straight away. And then just secure the pipe cleaner against the um, top pipe cleaner. Now, because we're trying to make, at the moment it's pretty flat, but we're trying to make um, um, a shape that's sort of slightly curved in, do bend the pipe cleaners. Um, you have to keep doing that throughout the project, just make it so that it's more of a, of a, um, a hollow shape already. And that's the, that's the sort of skeleton, skeleton, if you, skeleton, if you like, of your, um, of your clam and you will be bending, um, and adjusting it, uh, lots of times in the, in the process of what we're doing next. So that's, that's the base of your, of your clam. And if you look at, um, this one here, you can see where we're heading with this. So the spines become these, uh, ridges on the on the finished clam. If you look at this, I've put the pink in between it to accentuate. Is that a word? Um, emphasize the the um, the ridges and um, the bits that the the valleys and the hills. Maybe maybe that's the way of doing it. And this is what it looks like um, if you look at it sort of in proportion to everything else. So if you're crafting along, I'll just let you do uh, finish with this and I'll tell you a few other bits and pieces that are happening here at our end. So um, our next live stream, so we're, we're talking about always the next three weeks up um, going forward from this are going to be um, starting with a mermaid next week. I'm so excited by this. Um, she's a two part live stream. So it's actually July the 27th and August the 3rd. That takes us into August. Goodness me, how did we get to August? Help. And then after that, we are going to do the seascape. That was recently um, a live stream over on the Creative Craft Show, but we're doing it so it stays on our YouTube channel as well. And then we have got the Scarecrow, which is a three part live stream. And that is um, starting on the August the 17th, going into the 24th and the 31st of August. So we do, we're getting ready to uh, make some lovely um, makes that are all supported, I should say, by our um, workshop packs that you can purchase. So the Mermaid is ready for you to get. It's on our website, so um, have a look there posting these out already. We've sold absolutely loads. This is going to be a really busy live stream. I'm really excited by it. Then we have got the Seascape picture that looks like that, the box. So you get um, a box that has got um, um, the, oh, is that, is that sticker wonky? Yeah, it is a little bit wonky. Sorry, that's my sample box. And then we've got the Scarecrow, which is down here. That's a slightly fatter box because um, the Scarecrow is actually a little bit bigger than any of the other projects. I'll just show it to you. There we go. 
That's the Scarecrow, slightly bigger box and has got everything in it to make the Scarecrow. These are needle felting packs, which means that there are no tools in it. The, um, the Seascape one is, however, a kit. So that has got the tools and the felting mat in it. And the sea and the scarecrow, oh, here he is. I've perched him over there. Looks like that. So you have got plenty of wool in there to stuff him a little bit more if you want him fatter. You can make the legs a little bit bigger. He's got, he's quite dang, gangly, uh, mine one. He has, will, however, have um, a straw hut, which for some reason I think it's um, a bit loose. And he has got little mice hiding in his um in his top hiding in the straw of course so this is a three part workshop and um so don't hesitate and get your um workshop pack now and then you're all ready and set to to make along with me when the time's up all of our youtube um videos they're always scheduled our live streams so you can read up on there the ingredients as well if you want to use your own stash then feel free to do that as well you don't have to buy our packs or kits to do craft along you can use your own which um works probably really well if you're not so close to us and um it's too much to get it posted out to you um i will just have a quick look what's going on in the chat and then we get to the next stage um try and I don't I have to talk to uh, Pam Dathi who does our um our makers boxes uh, on Sundays more, more or less each each Sunday how she manages to always stay up to speed where she last read the chat um because I always um forget um I always um lose my my thread um so Ashley says, on the border between England and Scotland is warm and sunny. Hot in East Anglia. Oh yeah, we said that already. Um, awkward Braun says, we have family in Germany too. So far, all okay. Um, Diana says, in my part of Scotland, Isle of Mull, it's not as hot as it is for you, but warming up. Nice. I, I'm sure that I used to know a story. Um, get let get me right. I used to read a story to my children about Morak, Morak who was up on the Isle of Mull, and um, and um, about her grandparents. They were living there, and I think she had one parent living there. I can't remember now. They were. They, I think they were. I can't remember, but it was definitely Morak was the little girl from the Isle of Mull. Um, Sarah is there. Oh, hi, Sarah. Sarah, of course, hosts um, is is the founder and host of um, the Needle Felting UK Facebook page. If you um, if you ever want to venture out into other um, realms of needle felting away from the makers, not that we want you to go away from the makers, of course, but you, there's no harm in looking. Then do have a look at uh, the Needle Felting. It's now called the Original Needle Felting UK um, page, um, run by Sarah Brown. Has got thousands of members, so. You never know what you might find there. And we will be doing another live stream for um, this group. Uh, I want to say September. It's probably September. Put me right, Sarah. Join join a link here. Um, yeah, share a link on, on this, on this uh, stream of comments here. Hot in Sussex says Vampire Venom. Um, so... Um, sorry, lots of um, Sophie sharing things. Um, okay, here we go. Bit late, but I'm here now and my hidden treasure is my hubby. He's one in a million, says Susan. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Fabrizio. Hi, every one hidden treasure is to be able to multiply exponentially the needle felt projects on my to-do list. <laughs> oh, Lorna says, my biggest hidden treasure is my aunt and uncle in German. Due to family problems, I could not tell my mother I have contacted her sister. So I have a secret auntie. Oh, 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 that's so sad and, and nice at the same time. Um, my hidden treasure, says Pamela, is my excellent packing, the most into available space. Mm, yeah, I'm a bit like that. You can ask everybody when I pack a van to go to a show. Always find a little a little hole. And I, I feel like really satisfied when it looks really neat as well. So I don't want things in there wonky. They all have to be nice and lined up. Um, Ashley says, my hidden treasure is my dad. Be lost without him. Oh, that's lovely. Marion says, my hidden treasure is my, is my family. I would do anything for them. Yes, yeah, same. Awkward prawn says, my hidden talent is a is cat herding. <laughs> cat herding. <laughs> I have five rescue buggies. Most are elderly. Oh, <laughs> that's such a nice hidden treasure. Um, 
Lucky Cat's Rose says, my hidden treasure is all my stash I've hidden around. <laughs> yes, well, that's also a talent to hide all your stash so that, um, yeah, it doesn't look so big all in one place. Um, Sarah says, love your extra strong pipe cleaners. Catherine says, my hidden treasure is being able to burst into a song at any moment, usually when I'm out um, with the brownies. Oh, that's nice. I love singing. Um, Meg says, my hidden treasure used to be my cheese and onion crisps I hid in the car boots on my teeth. I just would eat them. I know exactly where you're coming from. I have to hide food all around. And then I forget where I've hidden it. And I find it sort of a year later. And I think, oh, yeah, hmm, maybe not edible anymore. Um, but, yeah, I definitely, uh, I, I'm sure Sheena wouldn't mind me telling. But she hides crisps in the boot of her car too. <laughs> away from teenagers. <laughs> exactly the same thing. Oh, um, so... Uh, Diana says, yes, the Morag books. I don't know it as well as my children, grandchildren are too old. I must buy the book myself. Ah, there you go. Yes, it has got drawings in it of the Isle of Mull and the harbour as well. So, yes. Anyway, let's go back to um, the seashell. Hopefully, by now, you've all caught up if you're crafting along. If you're not, you can always um, um, mute me and skip forward or switch off altogether. No, don't switch off. But in any case, if you're not watching this live, then, of course, you can fast forward and, um, and cut my chatter out. And um, there will be completely different comments on Friday, not Friday, Thursday um, at 7 p.m. <laughs> I'm a master of confusing everybody. That's probably my hidden treasure, uh, confusing you all. Right, let's go back to the um, seashell, um, to the clam. And now what I need to do is I'm going to pull my... Um, oh, look, I didn't cl clean that very neatly last time. I don't even know if I've got my magic brush here. Oh, I've got one of them here. But anyway, let's just uh, crack on. So now you need some um, wool. Now we're using the Australian Merino bats, which um, we also use for our um, our uh, mice, the needle felted mice. Sorry, I've got to move this across. It's really annoying me having that written written bit on there. Um, and um, you probably didn't even notice. And it's it's a really soft, but uh, a very soft bat, but it, 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 it's not a top, but it's as soft as a top, but it's already sort of crisscrossed and nicely mixed for us. So we just need to do a little bit more stabbing. I am using the bleached white, but on the original shell, I can't, I don't know if you can tell. This is the, this is the, um, what we call the mouse mite, mouse white, which is not bleached. And this is the bleached white. Um, so there is a difference. I was, I didn't realize I was using the wrong one until I took it outside into daylight. And then it's absolutely clear. So um, you you basically you need to make a shape, roughly a shape, but bigger as um, as your 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 skeleton of the clam, and um, but at the same time try and keep it relatively thin. So don't make it too thick, but also don't have it too thin that it's see through, if that makes sense at all. And then I'm gonna use my magic tool, which is the clover five needle felting tool. Absolutely love this. This works on literally every felting mat. And um, you're going to stab an area flat now. It's quite makes quite a rattle. Um, the way these tools work, if you don't know this, they have a retracting shield. That plastic shield um, pops in every time you stab it into the mat. You can lock it. So if you, um, you just twist what do you twist? Oh, yeah, on this one you twist the, the green ring just here. And then the shield is, is, is secure. And then you can open it again and it, it does this movement again. You can open these tools up and change the needles. They have got fine needles in them and there's five of them. And they're, they're, they're sort of quite well spaced out. Now, the difference between this and the five and the seven needle felting tool, um, because some of you may have this, Two is is basically that the needles are much much closer together with the seven needle felting tool. You can probably see it on the camera, and therefore this works best with a brush mat. I am fine. I mean, you can use it on here, but you really have to stab hard, and it just feels like it's it's really going to get on your on your muscles and your arms. But the um, the brush mat would work perfectly with this. But this one is such is more expensive, but it you really can tell the quality. And when you've felt anything flat, you've got to lift it off the mat pretty prompt um, before it make, becomes part of the mat. I've got all kinds of things on there. So I'm just giving this a good old stab. Um, we are still proudly promoting our earth mat, of course, which um, um, 
is still one of our best selling um, products at the moment. So, well, amongst one of our best selling products. I'm actually even making sort of a bit of an outline of the, the clam. I've now, this is the third clam I'm making, and I've learned from making the others that it's better to be generous with the wool um, in terms of the, the whole size than not, because we're going to fold this. We're actually folding it from the back but in a minute when we felted it um, we're folding it inward so you really want to get a nice good cover around the pipe cleaner otherwise you might have to add more later on so make sure you've got a big enough piece and felt it down um, relatively well because um, this is what I've been saying otherwise you have I mean there's a lot of stabbing that needs to go on anyway once it's on the clam but there is even more if you haven't felt it a nice um, relatively solid base already. This is looking quite good. Quite happy with this. Of course, if you've got any questions, pop them into the comments. I can answer them live on Tuesday at 1pm, namely today, which is the 20th of um, July. Um, if you have got any other questions, you can always get in touch with us. We're the makers and our email address is info at themakers.co.uk. And you can um, send us a message on um, you can it, you can look us up on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is squigglybitthemakers with two S's and um, that's also for Twitter. And on Facebook, it's the same, but also .co.uk. Um, that is our, our um, name on Facebook. And then you can tag us, you can message us directly via Instagram or, or Facebook or send us an email message. Um, you can also use YouTube, of course. We do check messages on there as well. So I've now made... Um, um, a coat, so to speak, to go on top of there. It's not, it, it really isn't that see-through, but it's still really, really thin. So you can just about probably see, you can just about see the, the pipe cleaner um, shining through, just about. So now I'm going to um, put this over the, um, the skeleton and I'm going to work with a single coarse needle by just stabbing it and securing it working my way around it, making sure that it sort of fits everywhere. So just secure it, don't don't concentrate too much on one area. Now the, the thing you've got to be mindful of is that um, you have got pipe cleaners running through the whole of the shape and especially as you're st starting to cover it, it's really hard to tell where they are. You have to um, maybe sort of, even though I'm stabbing quite hard into it, just be be mindful that you might stab onto a pipe cleaner, so back off quickly when that happens. And once you've got the wool folded over and lift it off, because you're obviously fastening it to the other side. So now I have got a, um, a cover on the outside of the clam and now I need to work the inside a little bit more to establish it and I have to add more wool on the inside as well because it um, it still exposes some of that um, skeleton of pipe cleaners there. So I'll let you catch up with me and I'm um, just going to see what else I can tell you. Oh yes, we have the Dartmoor Ponies which was last month's subscription box. We have now, we've got that now as a pack. And we are um, trying to cut out plastic so the the um, the Dartmoor pony is going to be presented like that. Um, I wonder if I should open it so you can have a look inside. Yeah, let's open one. Just need to get yeah, need to open. Oh, I'll just go overhead and then you can see it better. So this is the Dartmoor pony in a pack. Get you could, can sort of start getting used to this kind of packaging. Um, if you're only ordering this, then we will send it out in that box with a postage um, um, with a postage label on the front. And um, this is what it looks like inside. So you get quite a lot in that box. If you haven't had the, the Dartmoor Pony as a subscription box, then here it is as a pack. No tools, um, lots of aluminium wire. You get some glue in eyes and um, little tub of silk clay to make the hoofs and of course remember you can make one pony one pony only but you have you can design your own with the different colors inside these are the ponies here at the wilderness center and um, so you could be making any of those for 
ponies. These are real pictures. Um, and the two that I've made are just here. So that is just a new format of our packs when our subscription boxes are turned into, into packs. Then they look like that. And oh, let's just close this up again. Um, we've also got... Um, we ha I've also got with me today, just to remind you, this month's Maker's Box is the elephant and um, and calf, which I've seen some amazing ones coming through. Absolutely beautiful. So the box makes um, a, an adult elephant and then a calf, and you get this um, mat that you have to obviously needle felt onto yourself the the um, little bushels of grass and um, and the sort of brown sand underneath it too. The elephants are fully poseable so you can um, bend their their legs, their tails, their trunks and um, you can um, make make a nice sort of display of them with this um, with this bit of what's it called savanna underneath that's it. And remember put a comment into the comments box if you want to win um, the bear hug you can be in with a chance just let us know if you're watching this live either on the 20th of uh, July at 1 p.m on YouTube or on the 22nd at 7 p.m over on Facebook you can win yourself this kit if you tell us what is your hidden tre treasure what is it that is about you that is a hidden treasure put that into the comments hopefully everybody's caught up now because I'm pulling my clam forward again and let's have a look um, on the overview camera, right? So we've we've added the um, the outer cover of the clam. So this is like s slightly curved. Can you just see that it's sort of curved in there? This tool will be no good now because um, it's not small enough to avoid the um, the pipe cleaner. And now you're going to have to add a little bit more on the inside to um, cover it all up and um, do use your coarse needle that seems to be working the best. Now I'm I'm always somebody, for, if there's a way of speeding up work, I'm, I'm in. But um, I, I had an interesting conversation because we went to our first face-to-face -face show last week and somebody actually came up and said, what is all of this about multi-tools? You know, do I actually need them? Um, and I said, well, you you could use them. You don't need them, but they're nice if you want to speed things up. And then she says, but I really love needle felting. I don't want to speed it up. <laughs> and I said, great, don't buy any multi-tools. Just use your single needle. You'll be absolutely fine. So, of course, you don't have to have a multi-tool. But if you're trying to make something quick, um, not because you wish the time away, but sometimes we're just busy people and maybe you're making it as a gift and maybe you want to sell it and maybe you just want to make lots and you just want to um, not spend hours and hours on it, then do use multi-tools, of course. For this inside, you can use a multi-tool. And what I've done is I've actually used um, one of these multi-tools which is very similar to the clover one I prefer the clover one I will be honest but this one works perfectly if you just want to get a few so that you can rig them up individually and this one has just got two needles in it and they're side by side and that that works really well to get into these grooves where you know that um, if as long as you go in sideways that is where oh I've just bent a needle oh doodle how did I manage that Ah, well, it's it's just about okay still. I'm probably going to have to take it out in a minute and um, it's going in the sharp spin. Um, you can also hold two needles in your hand. Um, so if you, if you uh, want to, you can hold two needles. And um, I'm, I make sure that they sort of side by side and I have them, these little little ends pointing in the same direction, then I hold them. And then you've got them even closer together and it works definitely um, a lot more efficiently. Well, twice as fast, I guess. So you're working the inside of the shell and in a minute I'm going to turn it around and work the outside of the shell. And this is what I'm going to be doing now for the next... Um, well, for, the, for almost all of the rest. And when I'm getting to the point of adding the Angelina fiber mix into the inside, 
I will um, give Sophie the heads up again because that's the point. And Hannah, we will be uh, winning. Uh, we will be drawing a winner. Not not winning a drawer, but we will be drawing a winner. And of course, you also continue felting from the outside because you need to expose the pipe cleaner um, ridges again. So that is something you'll be going in and out and in, um, you know, from the inside to the outside, repeatedly going, um, turning it over and working the other side. And um, there is that you can um, also at the same time bend the shell clamp inward again. So just to reestablish the shape, um, the edges need to be felted probably with a single needle so really felt close to the pipe cleaner to get them nice and um nice and what's the word contrasting you don't want you don't want them fluffy no fluffy edges just felted so this is really quite a detailed fine work that's taking place now that you um can do probably for quite some time i will try and do all of this within the time that we've got here today to make it a nice neat shell but this is basically what you'll be doing now and if you spot a thin patch then add a little bit more wool um if you need yes you see the pipe cleaner here is sort of just about coming through so the inner should be thicker than the outer um, because we don't want to see the ridges on the inside so much we want to see them on the outside so keep keep adding bits of wool where needed keep stabbing away mind your fingers and mind the wire that's the main thing that you need to be um being mindful about this so i'll i'll let you continue at your end and i'll just have a look what else can i tell you so advent calendars oh it's so hard to talk about advent calendars but they are definitely i mean we have very busy my still still um getting orders ready um for when when they're ready to be posted out at the end of October, but we have we are very get we're getting really really low on stock. So if you haven't got your advent calendar yet, then do buy it now. I'm hoping um we've still got some in stock. Um, but um I'm pretty much I'm pretty certain we still do. So if you if you if you're quick, you can um get your advent calendars now. We um we we are nearly nearly sold out. So don't don't hesitate. Get it get it buy it now, and then you don't have to have any regrets. Um, and of course, they're always very popular and have been in the past. We've had some really lovely reviews in the past. It's it's basically every day is a surprise what you open. It um, it it's some some nice treats that uh, can be used for needle felting. You might find other um, uses for it. And um, we um, last year Pam supported the advent calendar by almost daily doing little projects from what was in the um, the the parcels they are not necessarily connected so they don't make one whole project unless you design this there are no instructions in it but we do tell you what you're getting so there's always obviously information regarding that and um the other thing that i do need to tell you is um Oh yes, let's talk about a wild weekend away here in the Wilderness Center. So the Wilderness Center, we've still got um, some spaces left. We had a couple of people drop out uh, for some reason. So there are spaces still left. We have now got confirmed two very, very experienced um, artists. One has been working with um, raw wool and processing it into um, wool that can be wet felted and needle felted for over 30 years and then we've also got Jana and most of you might even know Jana she's um, a needle felting artist started out with needle felting but she's done lots of courses and she's actually uh, now doing amazing um, artwork wet felting artwork and she has her own sheep she's always been processing her own wool and so she will be coming for the whole of the weekend to um, to support and um, teach and then of course you've got Emma and me um, teaching needle felting so we've got a, a good a good mix there are four of us um, um, who who will provide you with a program you can pick what you want to do and all materials, all tools that you will be using, all food and the accommodation is all covered. Um, we are going to be still, whatever the regulations are, we are going to be as safe as we um, can be. 
with single occupancy of either bell tents or rooms in the big house that normally sleeps 55, we're only putting um, 15 people in there. You can share a room or a bell tent if you are in a in the same bubble. Maybe maybe your mother and daughter are living together or you're hanging out together all the time anyway or your friends or whatever. That's up, entirely up to you, but we're offering single occupancy. And then um, let's let's have some fun. I, I'm, I'm busy buying um, raw fleeces in uh, including we've got some Shropshire we've got some um I, I always say that wrong I try and say it right swobbles swobbles I don't know I don't know if I say this right but I say it as it's pronounced um I say it as it's spelled we've got we'll have some Leicester curls um might have some Cotswold curls I'm working on that and um so you can experience the raw fleece we're going to do some dyeing and there will be some wet felting and there will be some needle felting but there will be no pressure you can pick and choose what you want to do and there'll be lots of fun you'll be making friends we'll be eating nice food you get plenty of fresh air and um everything's really spread out over 32 acres so you know we could put you in each corner and you would have to shout to say hello to everybody we're not going to do that we'll be much closer together but i'm just saying there will be a lot of space and a lot of um yeah lo lots of nice things happening so do get in touch with us info at the makers with double s dot co dot uk it's 380 pound per person includes everything you just need to bring um some some bedding if you're sleeping in the in the bell tents and uh, a towel and um nothing else really well bring your clothes and your toothbrush of course um but other than that we'll look after you Right, uh, what else? Oh yes, I've got one more thing to say, but maybe just um, work a bit more on the on the clamshell. I'm going, well, I, I'll talk to you while I'm working on, on this clamshell. This year, some of you might, might have, um, well, most of you who are watching here will know that we have buddied up with quite a lot of um, charities who are really close to our heart. One, as you know, was Craft for Crafters. And at the beginning of the year, we did a mega big um, task on sending lots and lots of uh, cut kits out to um, to people who have bought a workshop space but also at the same time made the same donation to um, the cats protection and many many cats and kittens have been uh, be have benefited from that as have you because we've got lots of people here who who have joined us on our on our YouTube channel and um, have joined the makers, everyone a maker group. That's a, a group that we have on our Facebook group, where where it's a it's a community where we want you to join and share with what uh, share with us what you have made from the makers, um, ideas, products, books, whatever. And um, cutting a long story short, we are geared up again to do a similar um, initiative. And it's it's almost too late to buy your kit, but you just about got time before the butterfly conservation. Now, we all love butterflies. I haven't actually seen very many this year, but I have seen, I went um, to the River um, Wife um, canoeing at the weekend, and I've seen loads by the riverside. It's quite amazing. I, I Yeah, I haven't seen many around in, in the meadows and in the gardens, but I've seen loads. Um, just by the by the by the river and in um, you can get your workshop pack still if you go straight onto the butterfly conservation website now and you can buy yourself the pack and in fact it's a kit gets ev it's got everything in there to join me live on zoom on the 28th of july at 7 p.m to make one large blue but butterfly and um it's not it's called a large blue but it's also a large large blue if that makes sense it's larger than a life size blue large larger than a life size large blue butterfly my goodness um and um if you can't do the live zoom on the 28th of july at 7 p.m don't worry because i'm almost 99 percent certain that they will give you a link so you can watch it afterwards the main thing is that you're doing you're really doing something good for the charity because half of the amount that you're paying will stay with the butterfly conservation and um and it's it's lovely that we've got charities like that um, um, that look after nature and wildlife because it's very important. So that's not too late. You you um, you still got time to get your um, large blue butterfly kit. And I'm stuffing away here still. Um, it is a lot of stubbing. So using my 
tool here with a one bent needle. It's just about okay still. I feel like I could probably get rid of that needle soon. Still sticking with my coarse needle at the moment and just still alternating from one side to the other. And um, that seems to be what needs to happen. If you like the seaside theme and you only just joined us, you haven't seen what we've done um, in the previous live streams, it's definitely worth going to have a look because we did a starfish um, not so long ago. We did a narwhal, um, that was last week actually. Um, we have had, um, what else have we done? Oh, we've done the little fishies, little colorful fishies from our exotic wool mix. We're going to do the mermaid, as you know. I feel there was more more seaside stuff, but um, I've got to have a real good think right now. If you're buying from us in July, you will get the this um, shell, this tower shell tutorial free on the back of the newsletter. We always have free tutorials on each of our newsletters. Um, Oh yes, I'm thinking of seas of of watery um, themes because we've got our um, our little dragonfly fairy. That's still the subscription box for um, July, so you can get her still. And um, I should also just say, it was on the news today that um, I don't know who is in charge, but somebody's in charge who will will really really come down hard on online. Um, misleading reviews and and offers and so on which is good because i should just say that all of our free reviews that you find on the website we can we, we we want more but all of them are totally genuine our subscription boxes that was the other thing that they mentioned is that people subscribe to subscriptions and then they can't get out of it because there's some sort of hidden clause in there none of that happens with our subscriptions we you sign if you sign up to our subscription you can literally in a minute a minute later unsubscribe we don't tie you in a contract we would never do that we we want you to be a happy customer not one that feels cheated by the end of the day so you can um you can subscribe and then um, change your mind anytime you can also skip boxes if there's one that you don't fancy so much we do three subscription boxes and the the um the july surprise box which i haven't mentioned yet that's the third one I haven't mentioned is fish and chips so they're always themed and um, the colors inside correspond with with what you imagine the theme is um, and we have a spoiler group for our surprise group for surprise surprise box as well now on Facebook called the makers the surprise box um, the makers surprise box spoiler group so you can join that as well if you want to if you don't like surprises um, and you want to know what's in it and then decide if you want to skip a box or you want to have it or maybe decide to sign up then do join that group and you we're still we're building up a repertoire of the boxes in the past we've only just opened that group so um you but you get already a feel for what these boxes are like and um I'm definitely doing better on the inside getting the I think I'm gonna have to start more on the outside now to get the definition of um the sort of the, the the grooves not the grooves the opposite the ridges no that's also I don't know what I'm talking about the skeleton the original pipe cleaner skeleton there's a word for it but you know what I mean these these definitions here I need so that you need to stop into it from the outside to get that done and then maybe bend the shell the clam shell into the right shape again so I'm just going to go overhead so you can see what I'm doing. And just to give start giving Sophie the heads up, I'm going to um, mix a little bit of Angelina fiber into wool in a minute to add the final sparkle on the inside. And um, and then the um, that's when Sophie's going to pick a winner amongst all the comments that you've put on there. And I will have another little read of the comments as well in a minute. Right. So definitely to get these to be exposed, the um, can you see how they're coming out now, is to stab on, on that side where you want them to come out. I've been stabbing a lot on the inside, so I've got ridges on the inside now, but hopefully they will sort of disappear now that I'm stabbing on the other side. And I'm stabbing close to the, it feels a bit like playing with fire, getting really close to the, playing with fire, getting close to the wire. Woohoo, I'm also a poet obviously so that's um i'm i'm gonna leave the the um outside like that and now i'm going to add 
sparkly bits on the inside. So you just need a little bit of wool and I'm using our Moonstone Angelina fiber, but we've had a lot of supply issues recently. So I'm not so sure if that is actually available. I should have checked beforehand, but that you can use any, any kind of Angelina, Angelina fiber on our website, even if it's has a little bit of a color in it, because it will sort of just, it will be just a sparkly little hint on the inside. And I'm mixing it by just, oh, it looks really nice in the camera as well, by just um, teasing the fibers apart. And um, the Angelina fiber on its own doesn't felt. So I'm putting that on the inside here. You know exactly what's going to happen. As soon as you felted that down, then you've got to go on the other side again to get um, the definition going again. But you're putting this in here so that you have the nice sparkly inside of the clamshell. So just fasten that on and then go back and um, just go over the outside again as well. And if you want to add, um, as I did here, that was more for photographic purposes. I've added a little bit of flesh pink into the, um, the grooves here. It does emphasize the shell a little bit more, which works better on a, on a photo. Um, because it looks like a shadow, but you don't have to do that. That was never the original plan, uh, certainly not Sophie's original design, but it, it worked when we took the photo. So just so you, that you know. So the inside is all nice and shiny now. And now I've got to just felt it on, on the outside again to get my ridges back. So you can see it's a constant inside, outside, turning over, whatnot. But finish off on the outside because that is where you want um, that detail to, to show. And then make another one. Make another one and you can um, tie them together. I used our Trimit's um, um, iridescent thread to tie the two together. Um, you could also needle felt them together, I guess. That would maybe be more of an authentic join because they're sort of, once they're broken, they're broken, aren't they? They're not, they haven't got hinges as such. It's like a sort of a membrane that holds them together. And then hide your treasure inside, whatever that is. So there you are. There's, um, it's a bit wonky up here, but they can't all be perfect. And um, that's the one I made earlier, that's the one that has got the flesh pink. And then this is how I've fused them. I've just put a little bit of thread between them so that they actually can move. Um, it, it works better um, maybe if you're needle felting them together and maybe make two identical so they have a nice, a nice fit. You can bend them into place as well, of course. But um, that would be nice just to have them open and put little trinkets inside or maybe put it into your um, under the water under the sea seaside theme um, display that you've been making maybe part of the a mobile that you've done maybe part of a um, um, some people have put it in a box frame and have it sort of half in half out all the different seaside themes that we have um, introduced to you. Remember there is an octopus kit that you can get as well. We haven't demoed on the on the octopus maybe next year and um, some people have put it all in an aquarium in a real empty aquarium and it looks amazing. So if you if we want an easy to take care aquarium, you can have them all inside there as well and um, that's basically the clam done there you go um, sparkly on the inside you can just about maybe see this the sparkles and I'm just going to have a quick read of the um, of what's going on here I think I might have lost Sophie um, on the phone for some reason so I'm just going to give her a call back <laughs> hopefully she will answer and um, I have to put her on mute straight away. Um, but in any case, um, she will have been at the other end. Um, and it seems to be that, um, uh, not sure who's won it, but I will read it, but she's announced it anyway. So I'm just gonna have a quick look. Um, the winner picked at random is Meg. Meg, Meg, you're the winner. This is on Tuesday, the 20th of um, July at 1 p.m. live on YouTube. On Thursday, it will be somebody else. So if you want to 
um, have a chance to win again, then do watch on Thursday. Maybe you just want to make along again, make your second clam. That would be lovely. No idea what happened to Sophie, but she's not in my ear anymore. But I know that she's still there watching. So, um, okay, I'm, I'm, I am reading. I can't read and talk at the same time. That's, um, well, I can mostly. Um, well, it's lovely to have so many viewers here. Remember to give us the thumbs up if you haven't done this yet. Um, if you are watching and you don't know how to comment, um, we sometimes get that. We have secret watchers, hidden watchers, and you're very welcome to stay hidden. I'm not saying you have to come out and make yourself known. Um, but if you're wondering how you can comment, you do have to be signed in into a Google account so that you can, or I think or into a YouTube account. Um, you can watch it without an account, but then you can't comment. But if you're if you're watching it as signed into an account and you can give yourself all kinds of funky names if you want to like mommy gomito well that one's taken away or um um what else we've got awkward prawn i mean think of a funny name if you want to if you don't want to, um your real name to appear and then you can also comment and be in for a chance to win on our live streams only. So let people know um, about us, share it, don't keep it as a secret. And I um, think I've covered everything that I needed to say. Remember to tune in next week, which is um, the first of the mermaid and still time to get your mermaid, mermaid um, pack as well. That's all from me today. And I will see you next week at the same time. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and um, go and keep cool. Bye-bye.